We move into our next playoff match against the fifth and fourth seed of the Lions. This should be a tight match as both teams complete like crazy to continue on in this playoff match. Six seconds remaining in Auton, where all this has been pre-programmed by their students, not even touching the robot yet at this point. Ending the match with no robots on the charge station, but plenty of points already collected by placing those pieces into their grid. Just like in qualification matches, everything is worth the same amount of points on the field. And the lower grid is two points, middle grid is three, and high is five. 49-82 making their way. Well, that's Olympus Robotics. They're placing a cube into the bottom part of their grid. Where Lynx used to be the name of the game, they're not as important anymore. Neither teams really care about that role, rank point bonus since they won't be needing rank points now that we're in the playoff matches. 2867 making use of their gravity orientation method to pick up a cone and take it over to their grid station. 135, that's the Penn Golden Knights, or Black Knights, I should say. They're making their way over to their grid, placing a cube possibly in the highest part, scoring five points for their alliance. The score is currently 32 to 15. Plenty of time left in this match. How much time? Over two minutes. 87-42, I believe that's Argyle Tack making their way into their loading station. They can use their, their player station to co collect pieces in protection. However, once they leave that area, they're all bumper on bumper action as they make their way out onto the field. 829, the Digital Goats proudly displaying their cone and making their way over their charge station. It's a lot of a time save you can go over. However, you can get additional damage taken on your robot. 4926, that's the Galactic, has a nice mechanum drive, allowing them to drive sideways as well as forward using a simple mechanism. Both teams have opted to use a swerve drive that's harder to control once you're up on the switch. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the match. The score is currently 74 to 67. Like I said at the beginning, the last Alliance game is going to be close. As we enter endgame, we'll start to see teams making their way towards their charge stations. Just like in qualification matches, if it's in a level configuration, they can get 10 points per robot. Just contact alone, though, is enough to get six. They're currently 74 to 74. We do have procedures in case there's a tie. We have seven seconds remaining the match. Both teams are sitting pretty with their two Alliance robots each on their charge station. And that was the end of playoff match two. Here are your scores for so playoff match two. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance was your fifth seed alliance. They'll advance to match seven to play the winner of our first round. We'll match four, we'll move to match five in the lower bracket. Once again, no one is quite eliminated quite yet.